Hey friends, Alex from Motive PT. Uh, let's talk about your shoulders. So I've been a physical therapist for a while now and I've also taught ballroom dance for about 12 years. And I've seen a lot of patients who come into the clinic with issues related to shoulder and shoulder pain. Um, so that can happen for a variety of reasons, but typically there is a root cause behind that. And that is what we would call in the biz, a uh, malaligned scapula which basically just means your shoulder blades are sort of insecure or not in the correct spot. So today we're gonna talk about how that relates to frame specifically. So if you're doing a smooth dance or a traveling progressive dance that moves around the um, floor, typically you're in this sort of elevated kind of formal closed frame. If you're just learning to dance, you can find yourself in a closed position quite a bit while you're learning. And even if you're an advanced dancer, if you're taking multiple lessons a day, you're probably holding yourself up in frame for you know a couple hours at a time, and the shoulders can get a little angry with us. So what we're gonna talk about is how to exercise getting that shoulder blade kind of down in a secure spot. Um, you wanna think about your shoulder blade as the foundation of your house. And if you build a house on this sort of shaky, insecure, you know, I don't know anything about construction, but I'm sure if, if you built it on some crappy ground, it's not gonna go well. So we wanna get that thing solid because the rotator cuff muscles come off of the shoulder blade and attach to different, different areas of your humerus or the top of your shoulder. And that's kind of what helps orchestrate all the movement in your shoulders. So if you're starting with a shaky foundation, then your risk of injury increases quite a bit. So getting that foundation. A simple exercise that we can do is called a scap set. So that's pulling our scapula or shoulder blades down and back. It's a small movement. Um, let's practice it together. If I'm standing here, I'm just thinking about pulling my shoulders down and back. So it's a little micro movement and then I relax. I'm gonna do it again, down and back. And then I relax. I'm gonna show you from the side, down and back. Yeah, so it's not this uh, big crazy motion. And what I'm thinking about is taking my shoulder blades and sliding them down and back, almost like I'm reaching for my back pockets. So from the back, what it looks like, I'm in this position, I pull down and back, and then I release. I hold each one for just a couple seconds, and then I release. So because this is um, an endurance muscle, we're up in frame for, you know, more than a set of 10, this is an exercise you would want to do sets of 15 or 20. So taking a nice, even, slow pace, not rushing through anything, and doing three sets of them. And what else is a really good idea, because often we're working in this frame position, is we can do this exercise in frame. So do a few here with me. Well, you know, let's give me five. All right, get in your frame. If you're a lead, if you're a follow, whatever you're doing. And then we're gonna do one and hold, relax. Two and hold, relax. A few more. Three and hold, relax. Four, relax. Last one. Five, relax. Good. So if you're doing this in the mirror later and you see woo, a lot of exaggerated motion, it probably means you're recruiting muscles that don't need to be working here. Um, an endurance muscle needs to be sustained over a long period of time. So you shouldn't feel like you're <gasps> cramping down and you can't breathe. This should be something you can sustain. So keep in mind, um, as you're going about your dancing, we want you to keep up your classes. Frame is an active position. And if you set your frame with that down and back of the shoulder blades, that's gonna give you the best luck to avoid injury. Keep up the exercise, try doing it a few times a week, see how it feels, and good luck to you. Keep on dancing.